My name is Sanjay Sharma. I'm a professor of cardiology at St. George's Hospital. I conduct four clinics here looking after people with conditions such as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and long QT syndrome. I also look after athletes because these conditions that I've just mentioned are the commonest cause of death in young individuals. I am experienced and um, well versed with diseases that cause sudden death and therefore my job really is to investigate first degree relatives when one considers that these are genetic conditions and my expertise allows an accurate diagnosis or even accurate reassurance in most cases. This room here is the Croy Center of Inherited Cardiac Diseases and Sports Cardiology Investigations Unit. In this room we investigate family members of victims of sudden cardiac death or those who've got cardiomyopathy as well as athletes who may have symptoms suggestive of an underlying heart problem. As you can see in this room uh, we've got numerous um, diagnostic tools available to us to assess individuals. We start here really with the ECG which is the simplest test and that provides an electrical tracing of the heart. Here we've got uh, six leads that we place on the chest and four leads that we place on the arms and legs. The individual lies flat and we place these leads on the individual's body. We wait for about two minutes, we get an electrical tracing that we can report immediately and this gives us a very good idea about electrical faults of the heart such as the long QT syndrome or the Brugada syndrome. We then go on to perform a cardiac ultrasound that looks specifically at cardiac structure and function. It's a very good test at diagnosing conditions like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, problems of the valves of the heart, or even excluding holes in the heart. And after the individuals had this test done, they're subject to an exercise stress test, which may be on a treadmill. This starts off very gently. Some individuals can do nine to 10 minutes, but very fit individuals can do 21 or 22 minutes. The athlete exercises, we measure blood pressure and the ECG gives us some idea of what's going on with the electricity of the heart and this sort of test is good at identifying the athlete's, fit, the individual's fitness levels but also picking up rhythm disturbances that may be brought on by exercise and it's a very good test when we investigate athletes. Some athletes are not just bothered about whether they've got a heart problem or not but are much more keen to find out their fitness, level, fitness levels compared uh, to the last season or the previous season. And in these individuals we do an exercise stress test but the additional part is that we put on a mask which measures their oxygen uptake and their carbon dioxide production. The higher the oxygen uptake, the fitter the individual. So this gives us very good information on the fitness of the athlete. We use this mainly in our athletes.